Hi, I'm Rich Jones, Company Art Director at River. We visit the scene, real world location. We use standard digital SLR to um, take around sort of 500 to 1,000 photographs to map the scene. We're also using laser data to scan the scene to get point cloud information. We then take that into photogrammetry software that aligns all the photographs, connects all the laser data together, and then that runs through a process to produce a, a 3D model for the environment. The software works out the distance between objects so that it, it maps the scene absolutely accurately. It basically creates an environment that looks realistic. So you're not creating this CGI sort of handmade environment and hand painted textures that just has that kind of unrealistic feel to it. This is absolute realism we're creating. My name is Ben Homer and I'm the CTO at River. I'm in charge of the technology development path we have at River. So one of the problems we have is that the VR is quite isolating experience for people. So and we need to be able to see what they're seeing at any time. We also need some control so that we can control the environment. What we've done is we've created a second screen that bolts onto the back of our VR backpacks that allows us to see into the VR environment. Partnershiping at the moment with some unique companies. One of them is XMG. This allows us to create VR experiences that are truly mobile. Room scale requires a lot of space and wires are not particularly advantageous for that. With using XMG's backpack, what that allows us to do is to take the experience out and about on the road. It allows us to create larger environments that people can walk around without the worry of cables and, and any, other, any other such things that might be in their way. So in addition to the fact that we have a VR backpack that has a screen that we can see what the user's doing, what we need to be able to do as an instructor, we need to be able to lead the student through the VR experience. The way we do that is we have some second screens. We can have up to 14 interactions inside one VR experience. So this can be people on phones, this can be people somewhere else in the world, over the internet. It allows us to interact with the student in a way no other company can do. What it lets us do is we can turn on heat maps, we can turn on flyouts, we can create environmental challenges for them. We can make it a teaching experience as well as an immersive experience. Take this off. What's the thing? Well, I've got 29 years in the job. <laughs> and I've never experienced anything like that. 